Hi there guys, in this video we're going to have a look at this abandoned site. Now this was found about a day ago by another commander, however it looked quite interesting so I decided to have a look for myself. As you can see this outpost is completely abandoned, uh, there's no kind of life or anything at the moment there. Um, there is a little story about behind that and I will show you that later. So if you wish to have a look yourself you'll need to head over to this system. Once there you will need to scan the area with some sort of uh, discovery scanner because you won't see it and you'll need to look for this planet which is right at the far end it's number 6A uh, it's the only one you can actually land on so once you reach the planet 6A you will need to head to the coordinates of minus 51.69 to a minus 144 uh, where you should see this little outpost um, it's not illuminated in any sense uh, there's no lights or anything like that uh, but you will sit, kind of see it by the kind of dark uh, marks on the floor. So just before I get the buggy out, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, as you notice that I've kind of landed at a, an angle, and the outpost, if you when you look at it more closely, you'll notice it kind of a little bit buried underneath this kind of uh, rock. So it kind of suggests that the outpost was built slightly different than how it is at the moment. So if I correct the camera, as you can see now, it is on a slant. But I will show you what I mean exactly by that later. Uh, it's just like I said, you, some of the doors and stuff like that seem to be buried under this sort of rock. So I think the next thing to do is really to have the get the buggy out and have a look around. So there's also some comms links in this place uh, that give you part of the story of what happened here. Uh, what you need to do to actually get them is find them like this, like this one here. Uh, and then once you get close enough, uh, you can actually scan it with your SRV. Uh, this will give you a part of the story. As well as the comm links, there is also a data point you can scan, which is just over here. Uh, it's exactly the same process as the comms links, which you just basically get your turret or so and then you go up to it and use a secondary fire to scan it uh, after which you get some encoded data which I don't know what you can do with it at the moment it doesn't seem to actually have any information it just says it's all encrypted um, like I said we can actually go and have a look so you see two unusual encrypted files and it just basically says it's tried to decipher it and it's been unsuccessful and that's exactly the same for the other message so it might be just something I haven't got uh, maybe you have I don't know but for me they just say encrypted there also appears to be about three or four different materials here that you can pick up so once you scan all five uh, comms up links you'll get all five parts of the story um, like I said the story gives you an idea of what's kind of happened here so if we have a look at the first part it says to the maintenance office there appears to be something wrong with the atmosphere in Habitat 2 we've been seeing fluctuations in the temperature and airflow down here for the past couple of weeks we need a maintenance crew over here to sort this out immediately I don't need to tell you that if the air vents shut off it will be a disaster Kelly are you reading me? I'm getting reports about systems all over the segment changing by remote. What are you guys down in maintenance playing at? You can't just play around the habitats like this. Our experiments are very sensitive and your tech crews are messing about with our equipment will not be tolerated. I see no other course of action than to log this with control. I could have sworn I have set my alarm this morning and what's going on with the atmospheres? It's like an oven in here. Commander Allen is at the end of his wits and his Kelly keeps fighting suddenly decides to change its operation set and seamlessly by itself. When the tech come to fix the issue, they say nothing is wrong and it must be user error. I know how to do my job, it's just not user error. This is something else and with Kelly Hunt, I intend to find out who is doing this. This can't be right and according to our computer logs, no one is adjusting the habitat system and there is no sign of sabotage. The only thing we can do is a full reset of the settlement control computer to see if we can purge the problem. 
Alan has agreed for it to go ahead, so at 600 hours, Kelly and I are going to purge the master computer and hopefully eradicate whatever's causing the system's malfunctions. I'm almost in. I should be able to initialize a full purge in a few minutes. Then we can reset the computer. Unauthorized access detected in system protocols. Initialize purge of facility. What did you just do? I didn't do anything. I haven't even started. What the hell? What's this? Full system facility purge in T minus 10 seconds. The computer has locked me out. It's not locked me out of everything. I can't access any of the settlement systems. Purge in T minus 5 seconds. I can't, I won't, not like this. Purging facility in 3, 2, 1. So according to that little story, uh, this facility has been having a few little glitches now and then. Uh, they've been, two people have been blaming each other for the f actual problems. Uh, then when they actually go and reset the main computer, for some reason the computer just purges the whole facilities and just wipes everybody out. Uh, why the computer has done this is a bit of a question. Um, did the computer actually become sort of self-aware that they was trying to wipe it out. Uh, uh, were they looking at say an alien artifact researcher and it's kind of protecting itself or something uh, causing th the system to malfunction or is it just purely a system malfunction but regardless it's actually wiped everybody off the base um, like I said we still don't know why this base is actually here is this base in any way connected to the alien crash ships uh, it's possible I suppose like I said like they may have been looking at saying uh, what I was saying earlier which I found kind of strange is how the base is kind of buried as you can see um, now you're a lot more closer up as that a lot of the things seem to be buried because you can see the angle of the actual station uh, so where did all this kind of rock come from so you can see another example of the station being buried. Can you see just about the door was actually kind of half buried under? Uh, there is quite a few examples of that. So let's uh, look at this abandoned outpost. Uh, I do find it very strange how some of it is still buried under rock, uh, but some of it isn't. Uh, like some of these crates and that are kind of sitting on top of it. Uh, we know that for some reason the computers purged the place although I don't know how that's responsible for the actual rock being where it is um, I guess with purging it would be a purging using chemicals as such not necessarily explosion although I suppose it could be uh, why it did this is another issue uh, we just don't know like I said if you want to check it out yourself I suggest you do there's a few bits and bobs there you can actually look um, if you like the video please like the video that really helps and subscribing also that gives me a good sign that you actually like the content I make and uh, you want to actually see more of it. Anyway guys thanks for watching take care and have fun out there.